Welcome to Let's Talk Sports in South Jersey, home of South Jersey sports. Let's get started by talking about our local teams first. The Philadelphia Wings are 7-4 in their lacrosse season. They will take on the Colorado Mammoth on Saturday. Let's get win number 8. Go Wings, go! The Philadelphia Phillies are 1-0-1 on the spring. They will take on the Toronto Blue Jays and Pittsburgh Pirates on Tuesday, Minnesota Twins on Wednesday, Boston Red Sox on Thursday, Atlanta Braves on Friday, Toronto Blue Jays on Saturday, and the Baltimore Orioles on Sunday. Go Phillies! The Philadelphia Flyers are 35-20 and 7 and have 77 points. They will take on the San Jose Sharks on Tuesday, New York Rangers on Friday and Sunday. Let's get win number 36. Go Flyers, go! The Philadelphia 76ers are 35-22 and 22 on the season. They will take on the Cleveland Cavaliers on Wednesday, New York Knicks on Thursday, and the Los Angeles Clippers on Sunday. Let's get win number 36. Go Sixers! The Temple Owls are 14-13 and 13 on their college basketball season. They will take on Wichita State on Thursday and South Florida on Sunday. Let's get win number 15. Fight, fight, fight for the cherry and the white. The St. Joe's Hawks are 5-22 on the season. They will take on St. Louis on Wednesday and Fordham on Saturday. Let's get another win. Go St. Joe's! The LaSalle Explorers are 13-13 on their college basketball season. They will take on Davidson on Tuesday and St. Bonaventure on Saturday. Let's get win number 14! The Villanova Wildcats are 21-6 on the season. They will take on St. John's on Wednesday and Providence on Saturday. Let's get win number 22, Nova! The Drexel Dragons are 13-16 and 16 on their college hoop season. They will take on UNC Wilmington on Thursday and Charleston on Saturday. Let's get win number 14. The Penn Quakers are 13-10 and 10 on the season. They will take on Yale on Friday and Brown on Saturday. Let's get win number 14. Good luck to all our local teams. Now let's preview the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine. The NFL Scouting Combine is a week-long showcase occurring every February at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, where college football players perform physical and mental tests in front of National Football League coaches, general managers, and scouts, with increasing interest in the NFL Draft. The Scouting Combine has grown its scope and significance allowing personnel directors to evaluate upcoming prospects in a standardized setting. Its origins have evolved from the National, Blesto, and Quadra scouting organizations. Athletes attend by invitation only, and athletes' performance during the Combine can affect their draft status and salary, and ultimately their career. The draft has popularized the term workout warrior, whereby an athlete's draft stock is increased based on superior measurable qualities such as size, speed, and strength, despite having an average or subpar college career. The 2020 NFL Scouting Combine is held on February 27th through March 1st. Good luck to the players in the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine. Let's talk about the Kobe Bryant memorial service. Yesterday was the public memorial for Kobe and Gianna Bryant. The event was held at the Staples Center with over 20,000 fans in attendance. Also celebrated during the monument were the other seven victims of the helicopter crash. Peyton and Sarah Chester, Alyssa Kelly and John Autobelli, Christina Mauser and Ella Zaboyan. Beyonce started off the celebration by performing EXO and Halo. Alicia Keys also performed Moonlight Sonata, as it was one of Kobe and Vanessa's favorite songs. Christina Aguilera wrapped up the ceremony performing Ave Maria. During the ceremony, Jimmy Kimmel was the first to speak, and he introduced Vanessa Bryant. An emotional Bryant told stories about both Kobe and Gianna, also explaining how much the two had in common. She discussed Gianna's personality, sense of humor, and go-to style. 
Celebrities in attendance during the event included LL Cool J, Jennifer Lopez, Alex Rodriguez, and Kerry Walsh. Others who gave speeches were Sabrina Unetsu, Diana Tawazi, Gino Oriyama, Rob Palenka, Shaquille O'Neal, and Michael Jordan. Kobe and Gianna Bryant will be sorely missed by basketball fans worldwide. It's time to recap the 2020 NHL trade deadline with the Philadelphia Flyers. Nate Thompson and Derek Grant were traded to the Philadelphia Flyers in separate transactions for the forwards yesterday. Thompson was acquired from the Montreal Canadiens for a fifth round pick in the 2021 NHL Draft. Grant was acquired from the Anaheim Ducks for forward Kyle Chris Kulo in a fourth round pick in the 2020 NHL Draft. The pick going to the Ducks will be the better of the Flyers selection or a pick previously acquired from the Nashville Predators. Thompson had been acquired by the Canadiens in a trade with the Los Angeles Kings on February 11, 2019 and signed a one-year, $1 million contract April 25, 2019. He can become an unrestricted free agent July 1st. The 35-year-old has 14 points, 4 goals, 10 assists, in 63 games this season. Selected by the Boston Bruins in the 6th round, number 183 of the 2003 NHL Draft, Thompson has 155 points, 62 goals, 93 assists in 760 regular season games with the Canadiens, Los Angeles Kings, Ottawa Senators, Anaheim Ducks, Tampa Bay Lightning, New York Islanders, and Bruins. He has 18 points, 7 goals, 11 assists, in 62 Stanley Cup playoff games. Grant signed a one-year contract with the Ducks on June 20th, 2019 and can become an unrestricted free agent July 1st. The 29-year-old has 20 points, 14 goals, 6 assists in 49 games this season. Welcome to Philadelphia, Nate and Derek. That is a wrap. You can check me out on my podcast at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching and keep those comments running. We will talk to you next week.